Last week, fans heard Devon say she has your back. And then this week, she's up on the block with Bailey. Do you think someone will play a power that, that was won in the basement challenge on Sunday's episode that can potentially help her? Or do you feel like outside of Bailey, she's got no one fighting for her? You know, um, Devon was a big advocate for David to stay uh, week two. She felt like uh, there was something there. I told her that I was unsure at the time, and she she just disagreed. And so, obviously, David stayed, and Nicole went home. Now, um, I'm hope I know he has a power, and I'm hoping that he um, uses it uh, in her benefit, um, whether it's now or at some point in the game. Yeah, let's hope David makes some plays here because he's he's got to <laughs> shake things up a little bit here. Come on now, well. You know, what's interesting that you and Devon had some very thought-provoking conversations over the course of your time in the Big Brother house, and you spoke about sparking change, and that was really the impetus and your reason for coming back to the show. Do you think you accomplished that goal? You know, um, that's the reason why I felt like I'm okay with being home, um, and I felt like I left the Big Brother house with my head held high. Um, I just want to be perfectly clear. I, I never went in there to tell anyone else's story. Um, in fact, when I went in on season six, it was already a um, really uh, enormous feat to be able to say, hey, you know, I'm going to speak on behalf of all like brown people or Muslims or Middle Easterns. Like, that's just not something that just puts you in the same box that you're trying to get out of, which is like one person representing everybody. It's just not happening. So now it's like, hey, this is, this is a story that I think is uh, surrounding the black community. And um, I just was hoping that I could at least do something um, that is sort of speaks to the issue of justice when it's not my story. I think there's nothing more important than that because it's like you expect people to come to your defense uh, when you're in trouble. I think it's important that we, we, we do the same. Now, um, I just wanted to act as a catalyst. I wanted to say, hey, we have to have these you know, conversations and we have to do it in a dignified way. Um, and that's where it started. Um, and you know, it's, for me, I always told myself like, I want to do something and it's like, now's not the time, maybe one day and so on, but that's just not the right approach. And I think at some point we all have to kind of just drop everything and say, no, now's the time. We have to, we have to do something about it. Speaking of now being the time, you know, in the live feeds, which I get not everyone watches, but I'm kind of addicted to them. Before this week's nomination, Christmas, who won head of household, talked about worrying if Bailey would stab or shoot her because she was planning on putting them, meaning Bailey and Devon, on the block. Do you think she should pay a little bit closer attention to how comments like that might affect the black community um, and might be interpreted as racially insensitive? Or do you think that she was just kind of saying that because she was just worried about being called out sure i don't know the details uh whether or not she said that you know uh, she felt like bailey was going to do it or they were going to do it or what what sort of how it was structured um but needless to say extremely unfortunate and extremely dumb um i think what's interesting about this show is these people are being watched 24 7 myself included um, and um, I think anyone under these circumstances will probably say something dumb um, and out of line. Uh, we w all will. And so I think it's important for us to remember that. But that just means that we need to do more. We need to put, hold, hold ourselves to a higher standard. And I, I make a delineation. And people always say, like, oh, well, intentions don't matter. And this is not about Christmas. Um, it really is about, like, who we're – we're able to have dialogue with to make sure that we can get to a better tomorrow. And I think there are some people who maybe say horrible things and don't realize it. And then there are people who say horrible things and that's their intention. They want to hold, you know, torches and march and say really horrible racist things. Those are the people that I chose not to, to have dialogue with. But I think the people are like, hey, listen, I had no clue. I am so mortified. I think at least they should get one chance. Now, um, you know, I, that's the only way I think we can all move forward as a people. Um, I think once you're given the power, and this is why Big Brother is so interesting, what are you going to do with it? You know, are you going to elevate the conversation and, and be better than the person that victimized you? Um, are you going to be an example or are you going to do worse? And so I think that's, that remains to be seen. And I just 
encourage people who have been hurt in the past to have perspective. Well, speaking to that, as someone who has been in Big Brother twice, do you think the show is doing its part in curbing the racism that has plagued the series kind of for so many seasons? Is there a way where this social experiment can sort of work to, to stop that and, to your point, elevate the conversation? It's a, this is a really great uh, uh, question, and I see that ha asked all the time. What's interesting is the format. And so as someone who comes from the tech industry, the, you know, uh, companies like I completely understand where this is coming from. So companies like Facebook and Google, especially Facebook, who has a social network that is supposed to be um, open, and so they don't control the, the the message or the conversation. They just out they allow people to use it. Um, it, it gets it takes a lot of heat and is always under fire. And so they they're asked, hey, you have to regulate this thing. Um, and so the same thing is happening with Big Brother, for instance. But you know, if you really think about it, <clears throat> excuse me, these are just people having cast and there's no way to understand i mean there's there's background checks that are done you try to have a diverse group and a collective group that comes on and these are people who are just being themselves so i think we really shouldn't have to question um you know big brother necessarily but we should question society this is these are it's not like we're bringing them from you know and you know alison gardner and grudner and um and cbs and you know the, and the production company didn't groom them and produce these people they just found them um so i think it's a little unfair i think it's just i think what it does is it gets, should give us gives us a point of reflection so we can learn from it and say you know what maybe we need we have a lot of learning to do in our society